The Pope has some thoughts on U.S. voters here for us. Reuters reports, during his traditional freewheeling in-flight news conference with reporters on the plane returning from Azerbaijan, Francis was asked how he would counsel American Catholics and what wisdom they should keep in mind. Here's what he said, quote, You have asked me a question that describes a difficult choice, because according to you, there are difficulties with one and difficulties uh, with the other. During political campaigns, I never say a word. The people are sovereign. I would only say, study the proposals well. Pray and choose with your conscience. When in any country there are two, three, or four candidates who don't satisfy everyone, it means that perhaps the political life of that country has become too politicized and that it does not have much political culture. People say, I'm from this party or I'm from that party, but effectively, they don't have clear thoughts about the basics, about proposals. Okay, so I'm a mix of conflicted emotions about this. The first thought I had is, do me a favor and shut the fuck up, Mr. Pope. <laughs> now, why do I say that? Because you're a grown-ass man in a dress who worships a zombie Jew carpenter who died thousands of years ago, if he lived at all. Not really interested in advice from you on, um, anything. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you can lead your big-ass cult and, uh, you know, do your weird ceremonies where you eat the body and blood of a dude that died thousands of years ago? That's not weird at all, is it? Um, but you're gonna come along and talk about how, you know, the American voters, they really gotta stick to the basics, the facts, the proposals. That's my advice. How about you take your own goddamn advice? Take your own advice. And call it like it is. Well, you can't. You're the Pope, so you would never do this. But, uh, you know, say, hey, man. There's really no religion, no evidence any religion is true. All right, I'm out. Peace, everybody. You can't do that. So that's, on the one hand, I think that. On the other hand, I think, despite the fact the messenger is flawed, it's true that we don't have a population that's more focused on the proposals. But I think I blame the media for that more. Because it becomes this circus, and it becomes this show that people watch, and they vote based on personality and nonsense like that. But it really is the job of the media to educate the American people as to what the different candidates want. And if they don't do their job, then yeah, it's hard for somebody who works uh, freakishly long hours at their job and has to take care of their two kids and put food on the table and keep the lights on, it's hard for that person to take an extended period of time to go read in detail about the fucking uh, marginal tax plan of Gary Johnson. That's not like... It's just difficult, it's hard, and you can partly blame the American people for that, but I think I blame the media more. But it is true that there isn't a focus on the facts and on the data and on the proposals, not nearly as much as they should be, but then the other part of what he said is, well, it's because we're too politicized. You know, we have people too much on the different ends of the spectrum. No, the problem really is more the corruption, the money in politics, and the fact that the Republicans are fucking nuts. The far right in this country is so insanely far right, you can barely fucking see them. There is no real organized left in America that has an impact on the policy we get. The furthest left we get is Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and the Progressive Caucus, and here's the thing about them. They're really moderate, centrist people in an international scale. I mean, these are people who are right smack dab in the middle of American opinion on the different policy issues, be they single-payer health care, raising taxes on the rich, gun reform, living wage, you name it. They're right smack dab in the middle of the American public. So the far left are the only people who are centrist and moderate and independent and reasonable and representing Americans. And everybody else is out there in, in corporatistville and out there on the far right. As Bill Maher says, they're, they're flat earthers and civil war reenactors and religious lunatics. So that's the real problem in the U.S. The corruption, the money in politics, and that the right is so far right and there is no actual mobilized left. I want a country where there are people to the left of me. 
I want people to come along and say, whoa, you're way too moderate and centrist, Kyle. Because it's true, I'm kind of centrist. I kind of agree with Bernie. Social democracy is very vanilla, very run-of-the-mill, right smack dab in the middle of modern countries and, and, and democracies. So I would like it if people are to the left of me like, no, I go further than you do. Great, then there's a healthy debate, but we don't have that debate. So interesting to hear the Pope's thoughts, uh, but he might want to stop believing in fairy tales before he shares his thoughts.